Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back today with another Cricut project. Well, technically it's an unboxing and a review because today I have something very, very exciting for you. It is the unboxing of Cricut's new Bright 360, which is their amazing floor and table lamp system for crafting. And I cannot wait to open this. I haven't opened it. You can see it is still in the very inconspicuous packaging that they sent it to me in. And we are going to crack it open. This baby is going to be a game changer. Like, I cannot wait to try it out. So if you follow my channel for any amount of time, you know that I make a lot of Cricut products. I have my whole Cricut shelf here. I made this with my Cricut. I've made so many things. Like, the Cricut is really just an amazing tool for anyone, but especially for a graphic designer like me, I can make whatever, whatever I can think of, I can make it with my Cricut. And the best part is that with their access library, you don't even have to be a designer. You can just go grab a cut file. Always talk about that with my design friends. Like, can you imagine if we had this kind of a machine in college, all those late night projects? sitting there cutting things painstakingly with our little exacto knives. So much easier today's world. Anywho, I don't know why I'm carefully opening this. I'm not gonna reuse the paper. So let's get into it. And we have a plain cardboard box inside our plain cardboard wrapping. Perfect. This. So there are, like I said, two different models of the Bright 360. I picked the floor model. If you've ever seen my Cricut projects, oh my God, the box. I'm so excited. Uh, if you've ever seen my Cricut projects, I do all my crafting right here. This is my big desk. Um, I really need to do a video on the actual desk at some point because it was hand carved in Spain. It is beautiful, but it gives me this nice white surface to work on. Um, but the nature of my craft room itself is that I have one big window where all my light comes in. And so if I can craft, if Lily and I can craft between, you know, those few daylight hours, I'm golden. With great light. Lily, come here. You want to say hi? Okay, come here. Lily's also very excited. She likes to craft. But if I miss those daylight hours and I am crafting after, say, four o'clock, there's no longer any light in front of this window. All the light is on the other side of my house. And so then I am solely relying on my overhead light and this floor lamp. And this floor lamp is yellow. I can't film with this and it doesn't put off nearly enough light to actually craft by. Now, generic crafts, maybe I can hot glue things, but weeding like white vinyl, not even. So, this lamp is supposed to be a game changer. Like you are supposed to be able to craft at midnight, like the middle of the day. And the best part is gonna be when we get it out of the box. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited. And if you if you took the paper far enough off, it does say Cricut Bright 360 on the box. I don't know why that's important. So here it is. Dun dun dun. See more. Do more. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So it has a bunch of features. It's supposed to pivot beautifully. You can do literally 360 degrees around. It's always perfectly balanced. We really likes that box. <laughs> you can adjust the temperature if you want it more yellow or if you want it more of that bright white daylight. That's what I want. You can make it brighter. You can make it dimmer depending on your project or who you are. Um, 
Like I do a lot of weeding with my Cricut. I do a lot of felt projects with my Cricut, but I also do a lot of jewelry projects. I do a lot of felt projects. I do a lot of scrapbooking projects. My mom loves to use her Cricut maker to do sewing projects. And since she is just, she's my mom, she's a few years older than me. She really can have a hard time seeing um, where she's stitching or especially for her needle point. So I think this is gonna make just a complete game changer. So I cannot wait. I hope you guys can see all the details, but here's the floor lamp. It's very sleek and kind of unobtrusive, which is great in a space like this because while it is a decent sized craft room, you can see like, I don't have a super amount of room to walk on this side, to walk on that side of my desk. My desk really takes up the whole room and that's because I use it as my work surface. So I wanted it to be able to be the biggest work surface that I could get. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. Now, the, um, the desk model can sit right on your desk, but since I use my whole work surface, I wanted the floor model, that way it can leave my whole surface um, unobscured. And it's supposed to be able to, it's supposed to be able to, it lights up four square feet of space. So it should light up pretty much my entire desk when I'm working. Dun, 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 dun. You guys, can you see this? I'm so excited. Okay, so let's let's crack into this. We've got one. Bowl. We've got our I'm sure instructions right here. They are glued. Perfect. We need those, I'm sure. We've got our plug. actual lamp head here and so this is the actual lamp head we have the counterweight and we have the part that attaches to the um, base I cannot think of the word for base and the base is supposed to be very substantial because it has to be able to hold all of this oh yeah it's heavy okay put this down so that I don't mess it up Lily is sitting right under the tripod. It's like she's watching my presentation. Okay, so yeah, it is very heavy. Like I can see this is not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. It has a little hole for this little doohickey. And it has a little instruction here. It says press stem firmly onto base until it clicks. So I've seen somebody do this and once it clicks, this is important, it's permanent. This lamp does not come apart. So you put it together and then it's together. So let's go ahead, get our pieces out and then we'll put the box on the floor while we read the instructions. I'm so excited. This has a little arrow, so probably this is what will click right onto here, but we'll do that in a minute since it does say it's permanent. I wanna make sure y'all can really see it. I don't know, I mean, people, some of these things are very intuitive and this looks very simple and easy. I mean, it's a lamp, it's not a, you know, big fancy 400 million part thing. It's supposed to just, it's just supposed to work, right? You just wanna plug it in and craft. I don't want to spend 80 million years learning how it works. That's the nice thing with Cricut is they really kind of spell it out for you. That's the kind of thing I need. So let's open our little instruction booklet. Cricut. Let's get started. I love how they always put that. All right, so. 
get to know your lamp. Yep, so it's basically just showing us exactly what I said. So we're gonna put this on here and then this goes on here. Once it's all clicked together, it is permanent. So, you know, watch out for that. And then the actual lamp parts here has two controls for more light, less light, warm light, um, yellow light. So essentially more artificial versus natural light. So, so excited. I'm trying to see if it has the information for the actual um, bulb on here because I was reading about it. It was very interesting and I don't see it. Um, but essentially it's supposed to last for like a gajillion hours. So I will look that up and I will come back and tell you about it. But first things first, let's go ahead and put it together. So, move this to the middle here so you can see. And try to be quiet so you can hear the quick, the click. There it was. Did you hear it? I don't know if you could hear it. It was very obvious here. Okay. And there is a little sticker right here that's just a up arrow, so I'm gonna take that off. And then this guy, he's gotta click in right to here, I believe. Yep, and it has a down arrow on this side, so we're gonna match up the arrow I just took off with this one. I believe these should go together. Let's see. So it has a little notch right here and a little notch here. So any Audi, and you'll click those together, they should fit snugly. And that's where those two arrows were. Perfect. Now plug this bad boy in. There's our lip. Say hi, lip. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so here's the question. Where does the plug go? I believe it goes right here. So that's where my instructions are telling me it goes. Sometimes I listen. So. Let's go ahead plug it in and I'm going to move it on the floor so that you guys can see the actual oh yeah see the actual lamp in all its glory first I wanted you to be able to see putting it together easy peasy even the plug says pick it right 360 I know that's silly but I like it all right, so let's put it on the floor. I will probably work with it right about here so that it can really illuminate my desk as much as possible. As you can see, regardless of where the lamp is, whether it's at its tallest position or its lowest position, the head stays parallel to your work surface. This is the yellow setting, but we can dial it all the way up to daylight. And even though this part here looks like a handle, it is technically the counterweight. So regardless of how long you're crafting for, the head here, stays cool to the touch. So you can actually use the head. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 
as as what you're using to, to adjust it. You don't have to reach for that counterweight. So if I'm sitting here and using it, I just grab this and adjust it right down over my project, however I need it. So do a little less, we can turn it all the way off. I'm going to go close that window real quick. I wanna see how bright it is. And then we are going to actually make a few projects with it because I wanna see, I wanna see how it does, y'all. <laughs> so we are going to do, I think, a t-shirt and a sign, perhaps. I'm gonna look through the Cricut Access Library and pick a few really fun um, projects to make that we can do with this. I think we'll go ahead and do those in a separate video, but I'm gonna put some clips here of working with it on all different projects so you can really see how it works. But if you wanna watch the full um, project video, I will leave the link for that down below um, but for now I'm gonna turn off turn off turn off the Sun have that power I'm gonna close my light my window and see how this really works all right now obviously I will do this again tonight when it is like dark dark because it's like noon right now so the Sun is at its strongest but with no interior lights on and my window shut. This thing is really bright. Here's the natural light and here is the artificial. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a bunch of clips close up so you can really see um, what it looks like with a project under here what you're going to be seeing when you buy this lamp and how much it really helps okay so let's jump in to the demonstrative part of this project <laughs> <laughs> 